Are real car brands coming back to Greenville? I'm gonna answer that question today because there has been some interesting news on this topic. So on Hunter's official Instagram account, he did post something quite unique. He basically put up a poll asking everybody in the community if they wanted to see a Pontiac Trans Am concept vehicle in game. Now this vehicle would still have to be licensed obviously and I never thought Greenville would actually be doing that since they did state firmly that they are strictly going to focus on fictionalizing vehicles. The reason is because licensing does take up quite a bit of money to actually do that. So I don't know. I think it's kind of interesting for this to be a thing right now. I'm quite interested because it's it's quite interesting because it is an idea that's just randomly been put out. I wonder what they'll do next. I don't know if there is enough likes on whether this car should be in the game or not, but I feel like it should. The percentages of it is 72% of people actually want to see it in game so i think that's quite high but i'm not sure if that's enough he only wants to license it if it's actually like something that people want so that makes sense obviously but see more vehicles being licensed in the future i don't know and it could definitely be a possibility based off this post that he did make i'm excited honestly i been wanting some real car brands definitely but i understand the situation as it does cost quite a bit of money to license vehicles I am happy with the fictional vehicles that have come to the game. Very good and very well done for sure. And honestly, besides Drive an Empire, there's no real other game that is doing this right now that I'm aware of. But honestly, that's all I really got for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy and I just made this video to inform you guys on it. So I'll catch you guys all in the next one.